There are so many things that represent fall to me. Apple pie, leaves changing colors, but one thing above all other, in my opinion, is pumpkins. And horticulturist Heather O'Brien is joining me to share all the different varieties of pumpkins. Oh my gosh, there's hundreds, if not thousands. I know, and I didn't even realize that. I mean, I went to the pumpkin patch this weekend, and I was mm -hmm. like, wow, look at all the pumpkins. There's so many. And they all kind of look like this one, right? Yeah, Most of them look they like do. That one. This is the typical pumpkin that you might see. But right. let's go through. We're going to first talk about decorative pumpkins, ones that probably aren't as edible. Right, so your typical jack-o'-lantern pumpkin is not necessarily edible. It's not grown to eat. It's grown to be able to cut okay. into and, and make faces on it. Okay. Um, this one is called Green Goblin, and it's it. an heirloom, and it is naturally grows these big lumps on it, mm -hmm. uh, but it's hard as a rock, and it's not the best thing to eat, although you can roast the seeds. Oh, I uh, love this one so much, because mm -hmm. I'm a fan of ugly pumpkins. It's funky. And I think it's so, yeah, it's cool mm -hmm. looking. I feel like it's perfect for fall, perfect for Absolutely. Halloween. So what, what makes an heirloom pumpkin? Air, heirloom is typically defined, and there are all types of veggies that are heirloom, as passed on from generation to generation. Got so it. So they could be very old. They could only be a variety that's a couple generations old, but uh, typically it's something that hasn't been um, necessarily made by man, but made. Okay, messed with. Yes. By us. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then next let's talk edible pumpkins. Sure. So like I mentioned, even the decorative ones like this kushal mm -hmm. and... Um, and even the little mini ones, although the mini ones not so much, um, mm -hmm. these you can eat the seeds, you can roast them. Okay. So not all is lost. You know, gut your pumpkin and carve it and, and roast the seeds. But these guys are weird and funky <laughs> and highly edible, nutritious and sugary and tasty. Great. This one's called alligator because it looks like alligator totally. skin. This is a victor um, and it is incredibly delicious. This one is called Marina de Choya. Okay. I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, <laughs> it's Italian and this is the one I'm gonna uh, cook up later in the uh, season. And now, do they, have, do they all have different flavors and can you tell a pumpkin's flavor by looking at it? I, not me. I mean, okay. now you can tell some of them have a higher sugar content, so they're a sweet, super sweet pumpkin, whereas okay. some of them are more meaty and less sweet, so those are better for soups, and, and the Hubbard would be one that would be good for soups and, and even baking, you know, you can add sugar to them. Okay. Um, but yeah, as far as for me, I mean, you'd have to have a really good palate, like my friend Bobby Moses. Okay. <laughs> He's the one that showed me all these pumpkins at Rockingham Co-op, and he is highly knowledgeable. Thanks to Bobby. Yes. Now you said you're gonna cook this one up later. How do you, do you have a recommendation for how to cook them? Yeah, it's really okay. easy. You kind of cut it down the middle. You don't want to cut it like this. Okay. You know, you want to cut it down the middle. Take those two halves and put the, fa the meat part down into a shallow um, dish of water. Okay. And roast them until they're nice and soft. And usually the skin will kind of just kind of peel right oh, off. Okay. It'll kind of separate from the meat. Then I'll typically puree it in my um, food processor. Mm -hmm. I put them in little muffin tins and freeze them. Okay. And the, um, that is about a half a cup of serving each. So then All I can, right. when I'm doing muffins later in the season, I can just pull out however many cups I need and defrost them. That's yeah. perfect. Now if somebody wants to find your website, where do they find that at? Oh, I'm at thatgardengirl.com okay. and uh, you can find me on Facebook too. And uh, I am really busy right now helping people with their landscapes and, and figuring out what to plant for uh, the fall and winter. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming in. And if you guys thank want you. a recap of all these pumpkins, gain some pumpkin knowledge, we'll have it at DaytimeBlueRidge.com. We'll be right back.